Hello everybody, it's Ryan here with another episode of XCOM Long War. Last time we cleaned up double abductions, more, twice the aliens dead means twice the rookies recruited and turned into slightly more useful specialists. But unfortunately what also happened yesterday was India left the XCOM project. No one really asked about it in the comments, so I assume everyone already knows, but I'll go over it just in case. Basically, the aliens have a special type of mission they can uh, call on to basically immediately remove any country from the XCOM project, no matter what. It's a hell of a lot of- it's hella expensive. I think it's the single most expensive mission the aliens can go on, and they always do one early on. But there's something slightly more terrifying about this. Is now that- for. I don't know why exactly, but the aliens tend to shut the fuck up, Bradford. Please, thank you. Okay, the aliens try and go for continents. I don't know why, they try and go for continental bonuses. Which is, which means, since India is in Asia, the aliens are gonna be going for all of Asia, hardcore. This is where our terror missions are gonna be, this is where a lot of abductions are gonna be, this is where our council missions are gonna be. The aliens are gonna want Asia. Which means that saving up for that interceptor is more important than it's ever been before. I don't know if there's anything I can really afford to sell right now. Not really, unfortunately. I could sell a, a, lots of sectoid corpses, conser especially considering we're still going for xenobiology, but at the same time, scientists are expensive as sectoid corpses. It gets up to like 16 for two scientists, something like that. It can get ridiculous, so I'd really rather not sell anything. If, if memory serves, we had a mission. No, we do not. Where is next council report is in 11 days? Hopefully we should be going soon, but yeah, we're gonna want to get our Asian air game going right now. Because boy, they're gonna be hitting us hard. And boy, they have already been hitting us hard. Ugh. Kind of scary, but... Well, let's, uh, you know what? Hold on. Eh. Alright. When it comes down to, like, a, a few days before the council report, I'll come back to the hangar and equip that guy with, uh, Stingray missiles. So that way we'll have three Avalanche and three Stingrays. Let's scan for activity for right now. And one of our aircraft has gone back And Hey, there we go! Two scientists for six sectoid corpses. Nice! There we go! That's the Xenobiology paying off. We've already got some more scientists. Thank goodness. And we're about to get some satellite uplinks and fission generators. Yes! I need to turn down my headset a little bit. <laughs> bit loud. Can't hear myself thinking over the satellite. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. It, it like spins and stuff. I don't know how a satellite would work that well underground, but you know what? Whatever. Don't question it. Carry on. I need to save up money for that last interceptor. I can't really afford anything else. If they took over any other continent, it wouldn't be that bad, but we're going to be seeing a lot of air activity in Asia, I fear. And here's our fission, act fission generator. Our fission activity. There, there will hopefully be some nuclear fission going on in that. But four more days, we can get our, both of our satellites going up, and then at that point, well, we can start to think about expanding into North America. In terms of the air game, of course. <laughs> and, oh dear. Don't be bombed, 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 don't be bombed. Fuck. Okay! Well, this is gonna be a little scary then. We've had a report of a suspicious activity taking place near a major bridge connecting some of France's largest interchanges. Needless to say, any alien activity in this area is going to draw civilian attention immediately. Okay, I can't remember where this- I think this will be the highway bomb mission, which is gonna be very scary. Oh boy. Excellent. Well, to we're gonna wanna bring the best of the best on this mission, we're gonna wanna just go, 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 because bomb missions are very brutal long war. There's still a lot more aliens than normal, but it gets even worse now because, well, obviously the aliens are stronger, Oh, guys, just, again, more aliens, the timer is just the same as always, but there's more aliens and they're stronger than in the typical game, so. Bomb missions are not pushovers. Uh, we're gonna want to build this one from scratch, and we're gonna want to bring the A-team. I'm talking Lance Corporals and Specialists here. Scout, get on here. Uh, Stray Dog is fatigued, but we have other engineers as well. They won't have Sapper. Oh, fuck that. Ugh, two more days. Come on, Stray Dog. Unfortunately, I don't think that bomb has the fuse of two days, so that's not gonna be an option. Serepic, get on here. What else we got? I guess we'll have to bring Mike, against my better judgment. Anyone else? We got Nick Cage as our infantry. If I recall, you were actually pretty bloody good. Actually, you're, realistically speaking, our best infantry. Yes, get on here. Uh, we got a sniper. I think we're gonna wanna bring me as the gunner. Again, we're bringing the A-team, baby. There is, uh, there is no room for failure here. 
Now the question, do I want to bring a medic considering we're bringing more important people? I don't think so, because our medic doesn't have paramedic yet, which means he really, healing will just slow us down. But I really want to bring a rocketeer, and that's who we're going to bring, Chubby Chubson. Get in here with your big fatty rockets, and I'll uh, customize these guys, make sure everything is good to go off screen. Alright, I think this is what we're going to roll with. I, w I had to think a little bit on whether or not I want to give people tack vests. Because again, tack vests just give you that slight extra mobility. I'm not really sure or not. I'm still not entirely certain on whether or not I want them. It's going to be primarily uh, sectoids, but there's likely going to be uh, numerous thin men as well here. Maybe even some seekers if we're unlucky, so... Yeah, uh, we definitely want to keep ourselves protected in terms of health. Uh, speaking of which, uh, if there is any augment, namely on Serepic and HG Scout that I was unsure of, I basically put them on an, on an alien trophy just to make sure that we have some people who won't panic in case a Thin Man gets a lucky shot, as Thin Men tend to do. The Medic, uh, I, you know, again, I, I thought about the Medic again, because again, Thin Men, they, they do their poison, but again, we don't have paramedics, so I'm not really sure if that's a good, uh, a good idea. I think it's better to just go in on the damage and make sure that we kill them all, which is why we are bringing lots of bad boys. Lots, lots of people with lots of damage. I thought about stuffing myself out with a Medic again, and it's kind of tempting, because again, that acid can really ruin your day. But I don't, I don't think, I think we're going to stick with the, uh, the suppression just in case. And, well, let's go. Against my better judgment. This could be the most difficult mission we've ever done. Well, this will be the single most difficult mission we've done yet. But, whether, I don't know, man. Let's, let's just hope. Hey, Crimson Genesis is back. Well done. You've caused, you've caused our sweet mother Earth to have a massive heart attack in terms of cloud coverage. Let's go. Yep, it's the highway. Okay. I think this is the first bomb mission I had on my uh, on my live stream as well. Uh, not too many people turn up for the live stream, but I did have a live stream campaign going for a time. But now I've got the YouTube campaign, which is where all my efforts going. So no more. Not gonna go around like confusing save files and whatnot. One. Council intel indicates the aliens are charging a plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. Time is running short. Oh, right. Yeah, you guys are you're just gonna talk in, into infinitum, aren't you, Central? <laughs> See, when the bomb hits zero, it'll explode. And we don't wanna do that. So, you just gotta walk on up and uh, then touch the, boop the, bop, boop the bops. Yeah, uh, that, that's basically what they're telling you. Just touch touch the green things to raise the time. You, if you're watching Long War, you know how XCOM works by now. All right, I, I really hope I don't have to tell you guys how XCOM works. Uh, I think we'll dash a few people up a little bit closer. Should be safe enough. There we go. Or not. <laughs> well, thankfully, it's only two sectoids, so it's far from the worst thing we've ever done. Unfortunately, Scout can't do much. You steady your weapon. Uh, one of them took cover behind the semi-truck, but I don't think he'll be coming up for a flank here. We're all on this side, and the only way for him to get a flank on us is for him to be flanked by us, so... I don't think the AI is gonna try anything stupid here. Because that would... that would be kinda stupid, you gotta admit. That, and I don't think the AI even saw Mike and Sir Epic, which could actually be bad, cause... I don't know. Uh, hold on, how is the sideline working here? Because they definitely saw me, after all, I'm the one that activated them, so if they would end up being flanked by me, which it looks like they will, then they probably won't come down that way, so... We should be fine. In before we all horribly die. Yeah, that was kinda stupid, but you know what? You gotta, you gotta push hard on these bomb missions. There's no room for slowness. And you missed. Damn it, infantry! You're supposed to be the one who gets the job done! Alright, sectoid overwatches, that's fine, I can suppress that. And we're done. Other sectoid is back there, probably overwatching somewhere. Should have brought a scout. Probably would have been way better to bring a scout than. Ah, I should have done that. Should have brought the scout instead of me. My bad. I, I fully admit. I fully acknowledge my horrible mistakes. I'm a bad man. But, for now, let's suppress the ones that we can. At this point. Okay, that should have dealt damage. Come on now. Hello? Are, are we back? Okay, I think we're good. The, the game crashed. <laughs> the game crashed pretty hardcore there for us, so that was... That was most unfortunate. But, uh, it does provide us an interesting opportunity, and by that I mean... I know that there's two sectoids over there, because those are the little bastards that crashed my game, apparently. Right, uh... Well, I mean, call it safe scum, I guess. <laughs> it's no longer honor, man, because the game broke. Damn it, game. Alright, well, regardless. 
We know there's sectoids over there. And we know that this scumbag right here is overwatching right now. You have, uh, so yeah, it's literally the start of the turn. I'm just trying to regain my bearings here. We've got three turns on the clock. And we should be able to, uh, press on up here and kill some scumbags. I guess we'll just, I'll just do things as I did last time. So last time I just moved up here. And, oh, I, I suppressed the sectoid first. Uh, whoops. <laughs> You'll be fine. He, he doesn't have gunslinger. He's, he's not a pod leader. Well, I mean, hey, that keeps our, uh, that keeps our gunner clear. Hey, there's the guys. Don't crash my game this time, please. Uh, right. So it was right about here where I checked this. Okay, they aren't crashing my game this time. Good. Very good. Okay, let's see. I got only a 31% on that guy. I mean, uh, we'll see. Ideally, what I want to do here is shoot him with Scout, but since there's a Sectoid over here, he'll, he'll probably end up crawling up over here next turn. But you know what? I think we can counter that. If I move uh, Chubby over here, we're not going to get any rockets anyway. He'll, the Sectoid will probably see him and run. Maybe. Because if the Sectoid goes over here, that'll ha that has to be a dash, I think. So hopefully we won't regret this decision. Hopefully Scout will prove once again that he's the man who never misses. Good. Okay, that's one down. And at that point, we're now ahead of the game. Alright, so let's use Run and Gun over here, because again, we just need to push. We, we should hopefully be able to get a, uh, what's it called? A flank shot on this sectoid. And here's the overwatch from the other one. I call, I can't remember if I called it on video, but that was a dash and a gunslinger. Oh, that guy might have had gunslinger. I'm not sure, though. Either way, it's, oh, it's a coin flip. I was hoping for a bit better than that. You killed him anyway. Good job. You're a good man. Let no one tell you otherwise. And now, uh, let's see here. So is this, there's this sectoid. The sectoid is part of the first group. One sectoid is dead from the first group, and one is dead from the second group. So these two sectoids are the only ones left alive here. How easily could this sectoid come around and flank me? Very. So, uh, taking cover on this iron, concrete bar- Iron? The fuck? <laughs> this is a concrete barrier, actually. Taking cover on the concrete barrier is really not an option, unfortunately. Ooh, what do I want to do here? This is apparently cover- well, yeah, good, but- because then he just has to move freaking one step to the left, and he's- suddenly we're all dead. Alright, I'm just gonna move- uh, we're gonna dash you up here, because again, push- push hard! Push well! And let's see here. If I move me up here, I know I won't have a shot on him, because he's just too far away, and my- my squinty little XCOM eyes just can't quite see the bastard. So, uh, well, let's see, if I dash Nicolas Cage up here, he should have a shot on this sectoid over here. Which, and also the sectoid won't be stupid enough to try and charge us, so... Again, we're doing some dashes, but it's... I fear, I fear it may be necessary. And meanwhile, I'll move you back here. So, moving you over there was kind of silly. One overwatch, which the aliens won't even be able to see. But maybe, maybe they'll activate it, and maybe they'll die. Come on, Ginger Dragon. Not quite. This is still... This is gonna be a very high odd shot, unfortunately, so... Or he could hunker. I mean, I'll take a hunker too, because at that point, he's now dead. Our, uh, if we can clear out this other sectoid, which it looks like he's gonna be pretty stupid... Eh, oh, he's gonna take the shot. Don't hit! Ooh. That was scary, but we should be fine. Because what I can do now is, uh, with Sir... Where's my shotgunner, Seraphic? Ooh, Seraphic actually is not gonna be able to flank him. I mean, he, he would, but that's too far away, unfortunately. Hmm, but what this does mean is, base, well, basically, okay, I, what I'm looking for here is a way to kill the other sectoid. Easily. And it doesn't look like we're gonna have that. Actually, on second thought, it does. Okay, if I move the engineer up, he's gonna throw an AP grenade, and hopefully one of these sectoids will die. If not, they'll both be gravely wounded. And kaboom! They both die! Okay, that's the easy way out. Good done. Well done! Good done. Almost the English word. Almost. Alright, let's keep pushing. Ooh, it's kind of scary moving him up here, but we... Ugh, the engineer could be... In, if we activate an alien up here, engineer could be in grave danger. Because if, if, if an alien decides to truck... Actually, I think he'll be fine. The, the truck should keep him safe. Hey! Alright. And what this also means is we should be able to relatively safely charge up here as well. Let's push. Do what XCOM does best. Run for their goddamn lives. Not really. That's what that's what sectoids do best. And really any alien who's afraid for his mortal life does best. Alright, activate that. And overwatch. Oh god, I forgot to show my mouse cursor again. I'm sorry! 
I keep forgetting to do it. I know, and I know it bugs people. And by bugs people, I mean there's like one guy who keeps constantly co complaining. I'm sorry, Abe. I'm sorry, Abe. It's just I keep forgetting. Yeah, there's uh, there's some thin men on the map. Somewhere out there. No one like the thin men are not thin mints, and as such, no one likes them. All right, so far so good. Let's just keep moving upwards. I mean, I suppose the nice thing about this map, this is, this could be arguably the best, uh, what's called, map for bomb missions because it's so thin and narrow, you don't really have to split up your squad to get all the bomb nodes. So I suppose in that respect, we got pretty freaking lucky with our map, uh, our map luck here. All right, let's move Mike over here. I'm starting to regret putting him back on the assault rifle. I did put Mike back on the assault rifle, but I'm starting to regret that because I forgot just how terrible his accuracy is anyway. All right, Scout, where are you? You're gonna... Can you? Yes, you totally can. All right, get on up here. This actually gives them half cover, as well as sight lines on basically the entire bloody map, so... Welcome to your new camping spot. You're not gonna be moving much. And let's see, do I want to dash more people up? I probably do. Eh, I think we're fine. We got four turns left on the clock. There's a lot of bomb nodes up here. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we cannot afford to run Thin Man Overwatches, though. That's that's not something we're going to be doing. Not at all. Oh, there are Sictoids still alive. Somewhere. <laughs> Sound like they were real scared, though. Okay. Let's put Nick Cage over here. We'll have the best sight line. Still nothing. Yes, Commander. All right, you come over here. Scout, you just steady your damn weapon. You are going to be our godsend over here. You might think you wouldn't be able to see anything, but this is half cover, so he can look right over it. The only way he wouldn't be able to see them is if they're, like, right here. This is his blind spot. And they're not going to be there anyway, because we're going to be moving ourselves on up here. Heading there now. All right, Sir Epic, you over there. Here they come. Aha! There's one thin man! And he's now gone into the fog war forever. Okay. Well, let's hit that bomb node. Anyone else still have a turn? Yes. That's Chubby Chubbison still has his turn. Uh, let's see, do I want to move you, Chubb? Or do I want to do I want to steady your weapon for a better rocket? I don't know. I think I actually move you not on top of here. I feel like that'd be a bad idea. Because, uh, maybe. It might not be a terrible idea, actually, come to think of it. Hmm. I mean, obviously, with the rest of these guys, we're going to overwatch. Uh, actually, no. On second thought, I'm going to move Sir Epic here to the left, because otherwise he'll be acided. Okay, everyone else overwatches. And I think Chubby, you just, uh, no, I don't want to clump up, because then they'll just acid me. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll study your weapon on the off chance that he ends up on this side of the car. And everyone else overwatches. Alright, bring him to us. Or at least just don't let him acid anyone. Here we go! We got three overwatches! Come on, guys! Gun him down! Not quite. Oh, wait, I just realized one of those overwatches isn't gonna act- oh, he's in- Ah! Get out of here, you fucking scrub. All right, charging this guy seems like a good idea, but recall, we heard some sectoids, so they're still alive somewhere on the map. That being said, we know he didn't overwatch, so let's move. Aha, we can actually see him from here. And he's in half cover. Oh, HG Scout, work your magic, please. I know, I don't really care. Come on, just activate that. There we go. Uh, let's see. HG Scout cannot see. Okay, maybe this isn't quite as good as I thought it was. I guess the semi-truck is in the way. Hmm, this is unfortunate. You have a shotgun only. I might just want to pull you back here, actually. I mean, we hit, we hit the node, so you come on back. Good work, soldier! Alright, uh, scout. What am I gonna do with you? Because apparently that actually does not give you very good sight lines. I guess just in case, I'll uh, steady your weapon over here and I'll dash you over here. Alright, Mike. You come on over here. You might get a better sight on him. You might you might have a more higher likelihood of uh, overwatching him. At that, and you activate another node, which is always nice too. All right, we got the bomb right up there, so we're basically fine in terms of time limit. Oh god, there's sectoids. You can hear them. They're a little. They're scampering. Oh, Mike, come on! I don't know why I expected you to hit that. We already know your accuracy is terrible. All right, now just don't take cover behind the green abductor thingy. Hey! All right, there's a hit. Solid. He is going to take cover behind it as full cover, though. So hitting him now is not going to be quite as easy. Scout still can't... Okay, yeah, this truck is complete shit. <laughs> I fit... You see, I never actually tried this. I just assumed it was good. But, yeah, no, apparently that cover is actually terrible. 
Okay, so what did he do with his turn? He didn't overwatch, I know that much. That might have just been a dash, I guess. Can I actually go up and get a flank on him? Not quite. I can get real bloody close with the shotgun, though. Aiming angles? This, sh this shot right here would be god tier, but we don't have aiming angles. So what we probably want to do here... Hmm. Let's see here. First, let's see if Nick Cage can make anything happen. These 40% chances have been really working in my favor. This is the time where they start to go downhill. Let's not shoot with you again. <laughs> Your ammo is low. I'd rather have you reload for when the sectoids come on up. What is that, 36? Come on, chubby. You got this. Nah, you don't got this. Because what I can do is I can just totally just run and gun him. Or, hmm. I can move Mike over here, but again, Mike, Mike's accuracy is terrible. And then the fuck... If we don't kill the thin man with Mike... Oh, fuck it. Let's just blow him up. This is a bomb mission. I really don't care anymore. Just kill him. Oh! Get out of the pickup truck, man. That's not good for your health. <laughs> I totally forgot that this was a bomb mission. Right. Just when in doubt, blow it up. <laughs> I'm overcomplicating things. We still have a rocketeer for when things go downhill. That is in the acid, unfortunately. So that's not really an option. We know this spot will not activate any sectoids. We're going to kind of shift around the right because that's where a lot more of the bomb nodes are. Alright, I'm gonna move on up here, and, uh, HG Scout, I'm gonna move you down here. I'm sorry, the, the cover was nowhere. Actually, hey, on your squad site, hold on, if I move you up here, you're gonna be fine. Because, uh, they won't be able to see you. Later down the line, Thinman gets squad site, but thankfully that doesn't work in reverse. Hey, here come the bastards. Oh, there's a, there's a drone, too. Of course there'd be a drone. And they run away. Leaving them, oh, one of them leaves themselves very nicely flanked here. With only the drone to protect him from the doom that awaits. Alright, Nick can see the drone. Well, this is as good of a shot as you're gonna get. Good man! Nick Cage is swiftly coming up. He's, he's a good man. He is he is impressing me so far in every way possible. That's good. That's what you want to do to your CO. You want to make him happy. And all of you boys are gonna... Yes! Oh, God, but your accuracy is like that of a rookie. Come on, Mike! Don't fail me! God, with a name like that, why was I expecting him to do something good? This is your this was your only chance to protect humanity. Actually, hold on. What is this sectoid doing? Ooh. Can I see him from here? Oh, uh, I think I should be able to. So you can see him. You can see no. You can see the far away sectoid from here. And let's see here. The near that sectoid is what is that? Hold on. That's about what? Three tiles away from him? So if we go three tiles away from Mike, we got one, two, three. No! Oh, bollocks. I would not be able to see him from that car. Shiza. All right, then. I guess I'll move over here. My problem with here is the semi-truck might block, might block vision. So I, I think I'll actually move over here. No, still can't see him. Damn it. Semi-truck is blocking me. Okay. Oh! Well, Scout's just god tier anyway, so thank you. <laughs> right. Check all of your soldiers before you make moves, apparently. Uh, that was a silly thing to forget about. Right! I have a sniper in perfect position for that. And let's see here. Nick it has nothing, so you're just gonna overwatch. And so will. Ooh, Serapic might actually. I'll, I'll dash Serapic over here so that way he'll be closer. You know what the Sectoid's gonna do in this position, right? Because if you don't, you're a ding dong. Sectoid is gonna take cover behind the bomb. So what I wanna do is I wanna move Serapic in a position to run up and kill that Sectoid. And also maybe even uh, do that. Oh, wow, the sectoid's a ding-dong. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. He has low profile anyway. Whoops. That's okay. He's just, he has steadfast. He'll be fine. All right, let's see here. Mike has already gotten numerous kills here. So you know what? We're just going to move. Oh, I forgot to activate. Whatever. That's why we have Mike. This is the edge of the map right here. We're fine. GG. You're dead. And now we have lot, a lot of turns to prepare here. Uh, can I please select Chubby? Thank you. Alright, so everyone's gonna s move up. You got plenty of time. Reload. Get positioning. Alright, Mike, you're gonna move on over here. You're gonna boop this one in the face. Boop. Hey, right, come on. Nah, just boop it! V is not working. Oh, there we go. I guess that has to be on screen to V it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Alright, so what we wanna do is set up because, well, for those of you who don't know, after you defuse the bomb, a bunch of Thin Men fly in from the sidelines. And that is something that we uh, would rather have not happen. Let's see here. I have a lot of firepower on me, but at the same time, the top of this semi-truck is still rather exposed. It kind of scares me. 
So for now, I think I'll just Overwatch with her. Not Overwatch, I should have reloaded. Whoops. Uh, Scout, you're fine. Ah, I probably should have moved you back one step, actually, just in case. Uh, most of the Thin Men on this map, I don't know if it's truly random, but most of the Thin Men on this map will drop in around the, uh, what's it called? Around the bomb. Actually, that's on almost every map, come to think of it. I don't think, I don't think the Long War, uh, Thin Man placement is randomized. But like the Long War pod placement. Why is V not working sometimes? That's kind of annoying now. Alright, let's keep Mike nice and centralized here. So that way he'll be able to throw loads of bombs. Loads of grenades. And uh, this is why I should have had the scout, because they're going to drop in and they're going to immediately overwatch, which is kind of scary. So, let's see here. We're going to want to have Chubby prep a rocket from some seriously sweet sidelines. I think here will be his, we'll give him the best rocket solutions. So you go over here, prep a rocket. All right, Nick, I like your positioning. Sir Epic, you need to reload. All right, what am I, I again, I don't know. Should I put myself on top? I think a Thin Man actually drops down on this truck, which means that putting myself up here would be great, but, hmm, here's the thing, if I put myself up here and we don't kill all the Thin Men, I'm dead. Fortune favors the bolt. Alright, I'm gonna move Scout back one tile here, just in case, and you're gonna steady your weapon. As soon as Ginger Dragon is done being a goof, alright, I think we're all in position, so everyone that can, steady your weapons! Ooh, actually, don't wanna steady your overwatch. I think we steady. Yeah, I think we steady. Overwatch if you can't steady. Which is a lot of us. You steady. And Mike, you're... You steady as well. I suppose. Oh, right. I forget to... I forgot. I, I should have activated the bomb. Right. Right. That part. Okay. Let's... There we go. <laughs> I forgot about that little detail. The bomb needs to be disarmed, right? Uh, that little detail. Alright, here we go. Here they come. Hey! How's it going, buddy? Prepare to die. My name is Ginger Dragon. Prepare to die. Haha, <laughs> he's dead over there. Oh, a lot of these guys just dropped down without cover. Alright, sweet. And there's only three or two of them. Alright. I overcomplicated things, my bad. Okay, so who needs the kills, basically, this situation right here. Uh, where is Mike? I don't think Mike actually needs any kills, come to think of it. Alright, infantry, you've only got one shot. Kill him. I said kill him. Thank you. Why, why did your aim drop there? What the hell? I just noticed his second shot had 83%. I didn't even think about that. That was kind of weird. But alright. Hmm. Well, thankfully this pickup truck is actually blocking you, so you can totally just swing around the side here and pop him in the face. You do only have a carbine, but... oh well. Hey, That's what happens when you hit too many low percent shots, you miss the high ones too. Hmm, where's, where's Scout? There you are. When in doubt, ask a Scout. Maybe. Let's see if I can do make anything happen here. Yeah! Scout's gotten plenty of kills, he doesn't need any- Oh no, he won't be able to get the body, he's drowning in the ocean now. Oh, what, who am I kidding, he deserves a water grave after something like that. Okay, Operation Brutal Moon completes. Hopefully the game crash didn't corrupt the file, because otherwise it's going to be kind of weird. But let's go. I didn't even think, I didn't even check to, ch I didn't even think to check the file, whoops. Oh dear. That could have been unfortunate. Alright, we're coming in for a landing. All right, well, we got three promotions. Sir Epic has been wounded for nine days, but he's a Lance Corporal, so I won't be using him much anyway. And Mike, you are now a Lance Corporal, so congratulations. Uh, I'm gonna make you separate, because one thing I did fail to mention about the smoke grenade, Medic can do the same thing. However, the, the Medic only gets like one less smoke grenade, but whatever, man, it doesn't matter. Does he though? I can't remember how I got that calculation, but anyways. We're gonna give you Sapper. Well done. I would take rapid reaction, honestly. That seems kind of silly. Infantry! Oh god, I'll come back to you later. There's a lot of gum flapping to do with that one. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a choice there. It's not gonna be a fun choice. Gunner! As I understand, covering fire does not work on suppression. Which is unfortunate, because if covering fire did work on suppression, that'd be kind of cool. If you had an LMG, and only if you had the LMG. Using the LMG gives you an opportunist uh, shot whenever they... At least I believe that's how it works. 
There's some way with LMGs or saws that gives you an, uh, an opportunist overwatch, even if you don't have the perk. I'm pretty sure it's only with the LMG. But if you're suppressing, then any overwatches become opportunist. So then, then you'd have a, a, a opportunist covering fire on somebody that you were just trying to crowd control anyway. So that would actually be kind of badass, but I don't think it works like that. I've got 71 aim. That's pretty freaking good. Uh, alternatively, you can take your... Take your... Oh my god. You can take your gunners down a hollow targeting shredder path with mayhem suppression, I think it is. And at that point, you know, you get that sweet AoE increased damage, increased aim. But for me, I'm going to go down the uh, the heater flush route. Or rather, not heater. The uh, heat ammo flush route to just pick off enemies where they are. There you go. Gunners are awesome for that. And now we got this one. Oh boy, I feel like, I feel like whichever perk you pick here, you're taking sides in a war. A terrible, terrible war. At least that's what Northern Lions comments make me think of. So, you can join the, the, the stupid side that takes steadfast for no apparent reason and makes you look silly. And you'll, you're will you just going to be shouted at by everyone. Or you can go down the Overwatch or the Ranger path. At least, I, I call it the Ranger path. Because this is the only path in the game in which you actually take the perk Ranger. But... So what basically the idea is, if you take Executioner, you go down, you just go further down the line, just keep on improving your shots more and more, and eventually you're just gonna be stuck with two really good shots. Like, they're gonna be some high quality shots. Or, alternatively, if you're more than happy with having, you know, two normal shots, but with a little bit of a babysitting period, you can go down the Overwatch path. And again, the, like the shame with all these, or namely the Overwatch path, is you really have to take every single Overwatch perk if you want to be at your best with it. Because what Covering Fire does with your infant, or obviously what it does here, allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. So throwing a grenade, spitting acid, shooting, it all lets it, it all lets your, uh, your infantry shoot at them. At least I think it activates on, uh, I know it activates on grenades, I'm not sure about acid, but anyways. You'll hear some people try and claim this is great for crowd control. No, it's not. I don't think the AI even cares about covering fire. I, at least I've never seen it care about covering fire. So, no. The reason why you take covering fire on your Overwatch infantry is to make sure your Overwatch is fire. Because later down the line, you get uh, Opportunist, meaning that, you know, you can crit on them. Basically, they become a normal shot. So, if they're in cover, it becomes a normal shot against them in cover. And, well, you know, so there's that. But then even later down the line, you get Sentinel, which no matter what guarantees you two... Sh reaction shots on Overwatch. So what you can do is with Covering Fire and with Opportunist and with Sentinel, you basically just shoot once and then you Overwatch. And at that point you now get three shots. Your last two shots can't be aimed, but you're shooting three times in one turn. Can you really complain? And obviously on the next turn you fire and reload and all that. I think, like, I don't know which one I kind of prefer, but I think for now, with aim like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Nick Cage our, uh, our Ranger Overwatch. I think I'm just gonna, you know, send them down both tabs, because both of them are, you know, equally plausible. You'll see, there's a reason you see debates about this all the time, because they're both equally plausible. So I'm gonna go down the ranger path with one infantry, and go down the overwatch path with another, and we'll see how it turns out. So here we go. You're gonna be my ranger. Congratulations. God, that was a lot of jibber-jabbering. Alright, we got Thin Man Autopsy, which we'll never do for a very long time. Anything else here of interest? One meld, because we killed lots of aliens, that's it. Continue. Nice work, Commander. With the bomb defused, the French populace won't even know we had to intervene. Uh, other than the fact that that entire highway was ruined, but you know what, whatever. We'll just, we'll just tell them there was a construction incident or something, I guess. We will be in touch. Either way, though, that'll be the end of this one. So be sure to like the video, holy sweet mother of cash. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And, uh, I will see you guys next time.